good morning students welcome you all to our english revision class revision for your annual examination and i have already given your portions uh, from reader three lessons and grammar three lessons okay uh, so reader you have to study uh, what uh, the poem amaltas and the flavors of kashmir and the greedy toy cloud from grammar lessons le lesson 17 uh 21 and 22 so okay uh, so uh, let us revise everything once again okay first first is a poem uh, amaltas okay uh, so amaltas is a poem on a uh, beauty of nature so you have already studied uh, it's about a uh, beauty beauty of uh, nature okay so written by deepa agarwal so this poem is about the beauty of amalta trees you all know amalta it's a golden shower namada kanikonna what is that is amaltas amalta trees the poet addresses the beauty of the tree so the poet admires admires the beauty of the tree uh, and uh, and he mentions that uh, it provides uh, what uh, shades uh, to uh, people uh, shades uh, from the scorching uh, what heat of the sun it provides uh, shelter shade uh, from the scorching heat of the sun the poet uh, feels uh, like a princess uh, what uh, when he stood uh, under the shade of this tree this beautiful tree and feels that it helps to forget about the hot air so when he stood under the tree uh, what it helps the uh, poet to forget about the hot air so it is such a beautiful uh, tree amalta so this poem is about it's describing the beauty of the uh, tree okay so the poet admires the beauty of the uh, tree uh, amaltas then uh, from this lesson uh, from this poem i think uh, i have given three four meanings okay uh, serene serene means calm fierce or scorching means very hot then very tired gloriously beautifully then answer answer the answer these questions what does the amaltas uh, shade the poet from uh, it is it shade the poet from the sun's heat okay what does the dance of the amaltas make the poet forget forget about what the scorching air and rough dust on her face what makes the speaker feel like princess uh, walking under the tree with its golden uh, flowers so when the poet uh, walk under under the tree okay uh, she feels that uh, she is a princess okay Uh, so walking under the tree with its golden flowers she feels that she is a princess okay then uh, read these lines from the poem and answer the questions that follow uh, a line ne base cheyidu oru four questions unda uh, what uh, and walk on tiptoe beneath your shade like a princess under the canopy of the golden lace so who whom does you you are refers to you are refers to amaltas tree why do you think the poet is walking on the tip on tip toe she feels as if she were a princess then which line tells us that it is summer beneath your shade then what is the speaker referring to by the words golden lace golden lace means golden flowers golden flowers of the amaltas trees okay so study these question answers from this poem Uh, then uh, write the words uh, the poet has used to describe these uh, nouns okay golden chandelier fierce blue sky burning wind very ice scorching air golden uh, lace so she he used all these words to describe these nouns so study this also then next lesson uh, flavors of kashmir okay seventh lesson flavors of kashmir so we have studied uh, it already then from this lesson that is flavors of kashmir uh, that uh, tells us about kashmir okay which lies in the uh, northern most region of india and it is famous for its uh, scenic beauty pin and the kana badde there is a lot of more there is a lot more uh, to offer what especially to those who uh, love uh, to eat 
okay the passage uh, introduces as to a uh, various uh, dishes different uh, varieties of cuisines so that are unique uh, in uh, to kashmir unique to kashmir and uh, gives us a glimpse of what kashmiri culture okay so from this lesson after studying this lesson we got a uh, number of uh, what uh, new uh, uh, dishes okay cuisine of kashmir okay uh, then uh, from this lesson uh, cuisine means food items of a specific region cuisine cuisine means food items of a specific region then uh, unique unique means special then platter is a round tray fragrance fragrant means sweet smell pleasant smell so study these four word meaning and from this lesson you don't have to study uh, what answer the following answer the following questions onna padikenda idil ninnum what i fill in the blanks mathram padicha madi only this reading comprehension the traditional tea of kashmir is called dash or dash noon chai or sheer chai then bakarkani uh, is the little is a little dash is a little uh, sweet in taste and people usually uh, eat it at the time of breakfast then in kashmiri the word waswan means cooking shop at waswan meal usually four people eat out of the same platter then saffron is an important ingredient that lead, that adds fragrance to kashmiri food then uh, shifta and uh, modur pulav are two traditional kashmiri sweet dishes so study these six what uh, fill in the blanks only okay question answers venda then uh, that in that lesson there is a grammar item uh, what models uh, send it that you have to study okay page number 95 94 95 95 uh, a fill in the blanks page number 95 okay 95 so uh, they dash have lots uh, lost the match they could they could have so like that study all those uh, model auxiliaries fill in the blanks using the correct models okay then uh, next our next uh, topic is the greedy uh, the greedy clown okay the greedy uh, clown so uh, this story uh, the story is about uh, what uh, the toys uh, that should belong to a little girl called ann okay so the clown the the toy clown uh, is the greediest among the uh, toys okay one day what happened he decided to cook chocolates and uh, lozenges to make sweet pudding on ann's new stuff then what happened uh, when he is about when he finished preparing almost finished preparing this sweet pudding he was so happy uh, he was, so what happened he danced and uh, while uh, dancing what happened the boiled uh, what mixture the boiled mixture uh, fell on uh, the, on his leg and also on the carpet then what happened a uh, while uh, other toys other toys also uh, then uh, woke up from their sleep uh, when they heard the screaming of this uh, uh, what clown a uh, greedy clown then they also came and when they tried to clean the carpet what happened a part of the carpet also came uh, with it and uh, the toys uh, fear uh, what uh, that ann would get a uh, scolding for something uh, she had not done so what happened they decided to call the elf uh, who lived in the garden for uh, in the garden so they uh, decided to uh, call uh, this elf for uh, help and the elves used the carpet and ask um, for brooch as her reward so the clown has a beautiful brooch and that ann presented to him and uh, he the clown finally uh, what uh, gave uh, that brooch to uh, this elf glittering brooch to this elf and uh, he he uh, this clown learned a lesson so that is the story of greedy uh, toy clown so uh, from this uh, greedy toy clown uh, what meanings uh, Uh, then stare out means 
கே கம் அவுட் ட்ரெட்ஃபுல் டெரபிள் வென் ஸ்ட்ரீக் ஸ்க்ரீம்ஸ் லைக் கன்னிங் டிஸ்மே வரி மென்டட் ரிப்பேர்ட் பெக்கனிங் காலிங் வெயின் ப்ரவுட் ஸோ ஸ்டடி ஆல் தீஸ் மீனிங்ஸ் தென் ரீடிங் காம்ப்ரிஹென்ஷன் ஃபில் இன் த பிளாங்க்ஸ் டு கம்ப்ளீட் த சென்டென்சஸ் த டாய்ஸ் லிவ்ட் இன் ஏ கபோர்ட் இன் த டேஷ் நர்சரி so and had given the toy clown a dash a brooch from a christmas cracker the gift that and received was a dash which edan in the gift a gittiyad was a stow then the clown decided to make uh, a dash for himself uh, decided to make a meal for himself the dash tried to clean up the mess from the carpet the elf the elf lived in the um, Uh, in the uh, lavender bed outside the nursery okay the elf uh, lived in a lavender uh, lavender bed then answer these questions why was the clown not popular with the other toys of the nursery okay why because is greedy isn't it so the clown was greedy and ate almost um, Uh, the clown was greedy and ate most of the cakes in the toys tea party then uh, what happened one night when the toys were sleeping what happened the clown stepped out to cook a meal for himself using ants new stow then how did the elf help the toys the elf sewed the hole in the carpet what kind of a person was ant and was a kind and gentle person then read these sentences from the story and answer these questions the toys stared at it in dismay a uh, sentence vaichittu answer what were the toys staring at the toys were staring at the hole in the carpet who was responsible for it the greedy toy clown what were the toys worried about and would be scolded for spoiling the carpet so that is why uh, they are all worried so uh, study these question answers ഇതില് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻസേഴ്സ് കുറച്ച് കൂടുതൽ വന്നു എന്ന് തോന്നിയത് കൊണ്ടാണ് ടീച്ചർ ഫ്ലേവേഴ്സ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യയുടെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആൻസേഴ്സ് കട്ട് ചെയ്തത് ഓക്കെ അതുകൊണ്ട് ഇത് നന്നായിട്ട് പഠിക്കുക ദെൻ ആർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് ഫ്രം ഗ്രാമർ ലെസൺസ് ലെസൺ സെവൻറ്റീൻ ആർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് ഓക്കെ ദറ്റ് ഐ വിൽ ഗീവ് ദ പോർഷൻസ് ഓക്കെ ആർട്ടിക്കിൾസ് we we have studied it articles a and and the are called article definite article and indefinite article and uh, before vowel sound we use and before consonant sound we use uh, the no no uh, we use an okay then uh, we use the when we talk about a particular person place animal or thing okay from this lesson you have to study uh, page number 70 uh, exercise a b mm? exercise le a um b um padikka then uh, page number 73 le exercise uh, exercise what no exercise d mm? x 73 exercise d appo a b d itrayum padikka എക്സസൈസ് എയും പഠിക്കുക ബി പഠിക്കണം ഡി പഠിക്കണം സി വേണ്ട ഓക്കെ ദെൻ പ്രിപ്പസിഷൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്ലേസ് പ്രിപ്പസിഷൻസ് ഓഫ് പ്ലേസിൽ വട്ട് പ്രിപ്പസിഷൻസ് ആർ ഗിവൻ ദയർ എക്സസൈസ് സ്റ്റഡി എക്സസൈസ് എ ഫിൽ ഇൻ ദ ബ്ലാങ്ക്സ് വിത്ത് പ്രിപ്പസിഷൻസ് ഫ്രം ദ ബോക്സ് ദെൻ വോട്ട് twenty prepositions of place movement time adle exercise a uh, then exercise uh, b exercise a and b okay here exercise oh, sorry here exercise a b preposition in exercise a um b um padicha madi keto സൈസ് എ ആൻഡ് ബി സി പഠിക്കേണ്ട എക്സസൈസ് എ ആൻഡ് ബി ദെൻ കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് കൺജംഗ്ഷൻസ് ജോയിനിങ് വേർഡ് സം ആൻഡ് ബട്ട് ഓർ സോ ബിക്കോസ് വെൻ എക്സെട്രാ 
conjunctions in that lesson uh, exercise a exercise b exercise a b c ibidnu hmm? exercise a padikanam b padikanam c padikanam okay ellam padikanam adile exercise a uh, b and c exercise a b and c okay so uh, study well all the best for your exam uh, so that's all for today uh, thank you have a nice day